Well, and joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent, Lino Mudu. What do you have for us today, Lino? Hello, Vincent. Researchers say treatment for the parasitic illness schistosomiasis is more effective if children have a snack before receiving treatment. The researchers work with students at 12 primary schools in Uganda. In addition to an educational message about the parasite, children at some of the schools were given donuts and mango juice prior to treatment. The children who ate something before getting the medicine had half as many parasite eggs in their stool as those at non-snack schools. The study was conducted by researchers from Makerere University in Kampala and was published in the journal Plus Medicine. And a tuberculosis survivor in South Africa campaigns for more action against the disease in the country where drug-resistant TB is gaining ground. A city of 750,000 people is located 40 kilometers east of Cape Town. Its residents are enduring a tough situation. There is often no proper sanitation or social services, and the overcrowded living quarters here are contributing to a steady rise in cases of tuberculosis. Kayelitsha also has one of the highest burdens of TB in the country, but 23-year-old Fumeza Tisile has survived the disease. Well, I was shocked to know that I have TB, especially when they said that this MGR. I didn't know anything about MGR at the time. Patients can develop strains of TB known as multidrug resistant or MDR, extensively drug resistant XDR, and totally drug resistant TDR TB. Standard treatment for TB usually includes a mix of four drugs over a period of six months. Drug resistant TB takes much longer. Nkosanti Mzana has been diagnosed with XZRTB. But I had it before, and I had for three years. I was taking my medication for three years. Um, and I was, um, I was discharged as cured. But um, after two months, after two months, it came back again. And then I don't know how did it happen, but it happens. He is receiving care at the Lizo Nubanda TB Care Center, a medical facility run by international medical charity Doctors Without Borders in Kayelitsha. XDR TB certainly is becoming more of a problem, mainly because we're starting to diagnose it more. TDR TB is still an um, unofficial term, so the WHO do not recognize the term officially, but we are seeing TB that is becoming more and more resistant to a lot of the drugs that we have. Tisile will present a manifesto on drug-resistant TB this week at the World Health Assembly in Geneva. Well, in Geneva, I'm attending the World Health Assembly. Well, hoping to... I'm handing over the TR manifesto, which I called uh, with uh, Dr. Jim. The demands, they are quite clear, like uh, the need for better drugs, better diagnosis, perhaps a vaccine if possible. According to South Africa's 2012 to 2016 National Strategic Plan for HIV, STIs and TB, South Africa has the third highest level of TB in the world. Approximately 1% of over 50 million people per year develop active TB, and more than 70% of TB patients are co-infected with HIV. I think people are starting to become more aware of this problem. It's taken a little bit of, a, of time for people to understand that it's actually an emerging epidemic. But I think people are starting to sit up now and realize that if we don't do something drastic very soon, then it will become an overwhelming epidemic. The South African government and governments across Africa, I think, have done a lot in terms of tackling the TB epidemic. But now drug-resistant TB is certainly becoming more of a problem. The World Health Organization estimates that 8.6 million people developed TB in 2012 and 1.3 million died from the disease. According to WHO, as many as 2 million people worldwide may be infected with drug-resistant TB by 2015.